again at the same tone to see if the mic picks up any better than the actual iPad did because this is going to be it unless I can get a bigger, better, badass or mic. Yep, so what, what we going to do? We going we gonna to start you, taping and have fun? Yes, sometime. hell yeah. Hell yeah. You said, okay, you said. Oh, it's nice out. It's going to be in the 80s. This is some little shit. <laughs> That's how it works, girl. <laughs> it's a little shit. You know some little yeah. shit because it's going to be in the 80s. Yep. And, that shit ain't right. It's yep. a little shit. 76. Yep. Bitch, yep. it ain't right in April. When the girls left and I talked to my, uh, she was like, it's 90 degrees today. And, I, and she was like, I don't uh, like that because, you know, country people, when when they get cold, the cup cold and hot temperatures mix up, the mother nature finna uh, act up. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. When they cold meets the hot, yeah. you know what happens? Tornado yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. He said about 10 years ago, he was saying how, because, you know, everybody talking about all the weather, but, you know, he has the ability to see the big picture, much like you do. But he was saying how it, it actually feels like everything has shifted. At the time, it was a month, but then it was two months, and now it's like three months. Like, everything shifted three months. Like, we was having uh, snowstorms in March and tornadoes uh, in the wintertime. That never happens. And also, tornadoes at nighttime. When Utica got hit with a tornado um, at nighttime, and that ain't never happened. You know what I mean? Right. But, you know, stuff going on. And like I say, for all we know, this happens every thousands of years while we acting like it's new. Global warming might be a, a what we call annual, but for the gods, it's whatever thousand year thousand old. <laughs> no, no, right? the, right. the gods would be like, oh, it's that time of year. And for them, a year is like 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so your, your, uh, your dude in the White House is holding a news conference with King Abdullah. Oh, is he? Of Jordan. Is that real? Really? that pressure because everybody telling him they're serious because he said, it's Obama's fault. What nigga put him in the office and let him fix it? Right. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I was like, that nigga just got Obama, he really, really got a serious, he just the epitome of uh, entitlement, and he got a real problem with Obama, with that nigga mm -hmm. sitting in that seat, he mm -hmm. really have a problem with mm -hmm. it, because he coming up with too many, you know, like for real nigga, even, you know, like, I mean, and then they keep coming out, disproving this, this his shit, he don't even care, like you, nigga, you know what it is though, yes I do, mm -hmm. at the top level, and I told my son, I said, you, you watching, I said, you looking at what right. y'all experienced at the top of the food chain, right. that's what you're looking at, he can't take it, right. and so that nigga got, he, he can't even get that nigga out of his mind, and the dude ain't in the White House, right. he can't get him off his mind, because he right. wants that nigga, and he can't just come out and lynch him, mm -hmm. see, he can't do that, because mm -hmm. he too high profile. He fuck around and got in a position where um, he can't even put, put give the word to have it done. Exactly. And, but but he, I don't know if I showed you this clip of him, the moment that he learned he won, the moment that he le learned he won, and it just zooms in on him, and, and everybody in the room, you know how people celebrate, they're like, yeah, you know we won? Mm. Girl, the room froze, and the camera zoomed in on him, and he was just sitting there with one hand, uh, his hand, head in, in one, um, leaning on one hand, like he does, but he was, <laughs> that motherfucker was frozen, and I'm like, nobody see this but me, this motherfucker, I recorded it and kept, you know, I kept that shit, because it was the moment. Nobody, you know, it was the moment he learned. God damn, I won. Because I never seen terror in it. I never seen terror in And now he got, and then he's like, when I get through with this moment, I got to act excited. Like, I'm going to do what I say. <laughs> but in that moment, and I know you would see it, too, because only pe only people like us could see it. But in that, it was a long-ass moment, too. Froze. Oh, yeah, I'm like, people should have been people should have been hollering yay by now. But he's like, what <laughs> the fuck? I yeah, girl. Want to see that. that shit was hilarious. Oh, my God. Oh my, it was I hilarious. And it. everybody in the room, I'm going to send it to you. Yeah, yeah. It's a a, that is a long time. Yeah, very long. Because people would be shouting like, yay, by now, right? Nobody. Right. Everybody stood there. And then the camera zoomed in on him. I don't even think the people around him looked at him to see like, ooh, what he got to say about it. Everybody was, <laughs> everybody was stunned, but especially him. The camera zoomed in on him. It was awesome. He going to say that he was distracted because Obama was fucking with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going I was looking, I was like, oh, he's terrified. That's it. That's the only, that might be the only 17 yeah, seconds right. I see him be look terrified that, that he can't even, you know, stop it. And now you see why he's terrified, because he don't, he, his, he don't know his ass from a hole in the yeah, we Yeah, we all knew that, though, so. Uh, yeah, we did. We uh, knew that. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Look, look, because when it's yours, it's mine. <laughs> That's right. You're going to love that shit. Be like, like sis, you coming to the house? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, shit, girl. You're going to have I've been, last couple nights, I've been rubbing his back until I fall the fuck to sleep. <laughs> so, I've, I've been proud of myself. Oh, so, they removed Steve Bannon. I see the headline. But I know that that don't mean shit. They just moved Girl. the but they gonna still have a puppet string. Bitch, you, bitch, you already know.
Yeah, and I've been I've been doing so I have never done this good for this long with having my uh, head in the political sand, but it's been months for me now, and I, I'm so glad. I don't know how I've been even been handling this other stuff with knowing about that bullshit. I just you know after we got the phone earlier, I went to go. I can't remember what I looked up. Some whatever we was just talking about, and I looked. I was like, I need to get in the shower too, and then I got caught up. A goddamn computer uh it intercepted me, but I saw where they were saying something about Bill O'Reilly and the sexual allegations and and uh, sponsors pulling sponsorship or whatever, and I'm like. Oh, I haven't missed none of this bullshit. But I was thinking to myself, I was like, I need people to do because you can't buy, boycott everything. Some stuff is just too good. They got it down, and and no nobody can't come in. Up. I told you before, I can't find out Sargento's is racist because nobody don't make that extra sharp cheese like that. <laughs> you know, I don't know no no black owned cheese makers that know how to do it. That's all I'm saying, nigga. And so I, I need them to not find out. But in the stuff that you do commit to go ahead and boycott, because I got a list, bitch. And the, the stuff that you, that you do go ahead and commit to boycott. Um, I, I was telling people, I, somebody posted a list of sponsors that was pulling from, that had sponsored and was pulling from uh, O'Reilly. And I reposted it because it's important. But I was saying, as y'all boycott, y'all keep in mind, bitches, that these are sponsors that chose to sponsor these motherfuckers knowing who they were from the jump. So you ain't, I mean... If you really want to talk about boycotting, then you talk about the history of stuff that they've been doing that you are aware that they've been doing. Because you're really only pulling because they still sponsoring his show. But they sponsored his show knowing what you just found out. Keep that in mind. And so that means that the only reason why half, mo not half, most of them are pulling out is because y'all found out in the backlash of no, mo no of less money. You know, and which is the whole point of boycotting. That's the whole goal. But the, but realistically, I be holding grudges with them mother. I be like, you was already sponsoring him knowing it before this came out. So that's my thing. I just need to list. I just need to listen, know what I can and can't give up. <laughs> that's all the fuck that means. <laughs> what's happening with Pepsi? I, I, I keep seeing shit. Somebody talking about Pepsi ad. Something. What's going on with that? I promise you. I'm like you. I've been out of the... Yeah, head in the sand. Like, they talking about it's hard to boycott Pepsi. But like, what what's happening? I done seen two or three people with a post about Pepsi. Oh, I don't know, girl. Uh, boycotting Pepsi or now I got to give up Pepsi or whatever. Apparently it's an ad. Apparently it's a Pepsi ad mm -hmm. that's offensive in some way. I don't know. Uh, I'm only assuming that because I've seen two, not just one, but two right, right. Uh, comments like that. And when you start seeing it, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, okay, they, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know either because I don't really, I never really fuck with Pepsi, but I do know some, some, when I was, you know, I was, I had white life when I was young. I was full, surrounded by white people, but the white people I knew love, they were the Pepsi people for sure. It's some black uh, ones too, but, uh, the, the Texans, the white Texans that I knew, I mean, they was addicted to Pepsi like niggas I know that are addicted to Mountain Dew. Oh, look, I gotta tell you this. That made me think. Well, that didn't, but right. can we interview you in right. the room? No, right. I got to meet you outside right. after the show. How about that? Right. But anyway. Right. So I'm I glad you did that. Yesterday. Not yesterday. Because last yesterday. time, look, because last time you did that shit in the dressing room, you had a toilet behind you in the end. <laughs> Shit, them motherfuckers was crazy. It's, no, this is not. It wasn't California. Cause it was with with us. It, yeah, was, it was me, you, and Laura. And no, nah, cause T was in there, and they wanted to interview you. Oh, they, well, they, they wasn't LA then. No, nah, no, nah, and they said it was a live stream, bitch. And you was like, how the fuck is a lie? They think I don't know this. This ain't no live stream. Cause he had his okay. camera phone, and the, and the toilet was. You the one that caught the toilet behind you. And they shut the door. And <laughs> yeah, they I shut remember. the door eventually. And I was like, you was like these motherfuckers ain't, ain't interviewing us. This motherfucker just got off work and came in here with his cell phone talking about this is live. <laughs> Which you can do nowadays, but back right. then it just wasn't. That wasn't. That I was yeah. like, nigga. And I was so. I was like, well, at least she knows. She's just trying to help them out. That's cool. But they had me rolling with them lies. Y'all ain't got to lie. Somebody asked me to ask you to, about something about doing on on a. It sounded actually good, but you know, my response is usually, y uh, she's extremely accessible. You know, <laughs> if you want to <laughs> ask her, for, you know, she's extremely accessible. She's more so than I would like to have because you know I'm protective of her. But you know, ask her. Shit. Uh, you half asked your homework. If you if you ask some if you got somebody that you've been trying to get an interview for for you, Wikipedia is not homework. You know what I mean? Oh, you don't have to go all. You don't have to find out that whole life story. But Wikipedia is not the the entire. Should not be the entire source of your homework. If you looked at if you looked at even three three uh, places for information before you interviewed a person, even three, you would have known. Or number. How about none of that? Like you act like you want to interview view her so bad, but you don't even know who she is to not know her name. <laughs> <laughs> to not know her name. To not know her name. You don't even know who she is. You know, right. like when sometimes when some people say, oh, I just love her. I love her so much. I, just like when you go out and people say, oh, I love you so much. I follow you everywhere and blah, blah, blah. You've been on talk to them for, for two hours and then they say, okay, I'll see you next time, Cheryl. <laughs> I love it.
love it, don't you? <laughs> I'm, uh, thanks, uh, thanks for the love. I'm glad you follow and support me. So, you know, so tough. You know, I, I'm really, I really appreciate that. Right? Do you know how I do trolls on Instagram now? Because I, I know that, you know, we know all the tricks. And that's one thing. You're going to appreciate that about YouTube, bitch. YouTube is, that's the one thing I, I love about YouTube and their actual policies. They will catch some uh, trolls, bitch. <laughs> and they'll send them to spam. So you, even if your shit is open, they'll send the tr trolls to spam where you don't have to. Cause, and it's not, it's everybody that put a link or something in it. But it's also people that don't usually comment on your shit that just say some shit. And, and I don't know how YouTube knows. They It's like they, they pick my brain or something something but <laughs> somebody could somebody could put oh i love how they turned out you know i have a channel too they ain't never seen you they really didn't watch the video okay they just putting that shit under there for whoever else come and see it so that they'll go get that can get uh but but youtube uh send that straight to the spam bucket even if it's <laughs> it don't matter if it's a new person that you have to go check that spam and see if they would really see i go look and see what the comment is because the comment will let me know if they really watched it enough or if they just putting that on a bunch of people sometimes they'll say on instagram if they say cool and i'll be and i'll, I'll come back i bet you every time i'll come them little one word comments I'll, I'll be like oh okay what was cool about thanks what was cool about it you ain't gonna hear shit else you ain't gonna hear shit else from that motherfucker. Cause, they, ain't Cause that motherfucker, thing. they might not be a real motherfucker person. It might be a robot. I don't know what the fuck. You done left that on 10,000 motherfucker pages. And I can tell that that's what you do. Somebody, somebody, girl, bitch. And you can tell they don't know. Somebody put, keep it up. Um, um, on something I, I posted about shoe shopping. Keep it, good job, keep it up. Um, and I said, oh, okay. Well, what exactly is it that you want me to keep up? I ain't heard shit else. Bo uh, now I put old spam bot ass comments. <laughs> I hate y'all trolling motherfuckers. Can't stand you. Fuck. I can't stand it, girl. But YouTube, YouTube, I don't know how they do it, but they catch that shit. People go on other people's pages doing that bullshit. And it, I, don't, I don't even really care because I get, I get building an audience. I don't even have no problem with that, really. But don't try to play me for foo foo like you watch my shit and you didn't and don't and never will because I ain't your flavor. And I see that right now. I see that by the, by the fact, by the very fact that you think that I thought that was sincere. What the fuck you just left? <laughs> but I get it. Everybody just collecting, everybody just collecting humans. Uh, well, not even, they're not humans. Everybody collecting, collecting audience. I'm just going to call it an audience because it's just one big thing. <laughs> And I'm like, you know, and I ain't mad because I'm gonna collect one too. But I'm, a, I'm, a, but I, I'm, I don't know if it's ever been done. But I'm gonna be picky, picky about that shit. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I get it. I ain't mad. That's, it's really, you know, we just gotta deal with it. It's, it's, it's what it is. And we knew it was gonna be that. We just fought it all away, and that's okay. That's okay. Now, in entering into it, I just still have to put my own spin on it because it's still a niche to be real, and even more so. So we'll see how that works out. Be like, don't hold your breath. You go, you like me for a minute, but keep keep listening. <laughs> you go, your toes gonna get hit too. It's all of us. <laughs> I be making myself mad. <laughs> I be like, I be making my own self mad at me too. And plus, they don't need to know some shit. They don't need to know. That's my ex. Yeah. Some shit to my damn. Yeah. Self. I was gonna say it's good that he does that because if he don't, then you got a whole conversation and explanation with all the motherfuckers who, and they're the main motherfuckers that don't need to know. The ones that have made those assumptions. Them the ones that you need to leave, uh -huh. just like you did, oh girl. Let them keep assigning. You laughing, bitch? You over there crying in your car? Me too, bitch. I'm crying too. Yeah. So you gonna love my next day? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that made sense. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. You can, we can, we can have fun with that Saturday. Yes, yeah, bitch. Cause, cause I don't have no problem, and I will roast her ass, and ain't nobody she know who I'm talking about. Girl, and cause I ain't put nothing on the line to set it out. Yet, yet. Girl, you ain't gotta tell me. Like you said, that's in you, cause that you know, shit. Yeah. The company and your yeah, teachers. Yeah, yeah, she don't never rub off on the bitch. I be like, I gotta quit this. I'm more like not knowing shit. Every time I turn around, I'm putting the motherfucker on the back burner. Cause you have spent decades. uh uh, uh, doling out that benefit of the doubt, and that it done bit you one time too many after it, enough decades. No, no, that ain't it. I mean, I still give the benefit of the doubt. I just gotta, I told you. Like I'm talking about for certain people that show you what the fuck they, they got motives. That's what I'm talking about. Cause you still give it, you do still give it out, but you also, you always have given out to literally everyone. Now you at least paying attention to those who, who got some shit with it, with a, you know, who I always. I ain't doing nothing different but exposing to your ass the inner. That's all. Yeah. I'm <laughs> like you got that inner yeah, I do. Never like to fucking expose, I do. cause you don't want bitches to think some kind of way. Nah, bitch, I was just crying. You're right. Beautiful, but I don't love you like right. that. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> fuck you. 
you. I can't stand you. I can't stand you. You just practice other shit. It's the same flavor. It ain't never been out of me. I just try my best to practice other shit. I know. They'll fix it for you. Yeah. Girl, boo, these people. But that girl, no, she fucked me up. I said people. But I, that's me playing games with the people, man. Yeah. Because I like, and, I'm, and I trust my instincts. And when I feel something, I'll give you time. Because yep. I don't even take offense to whatever it is. I right. just know it's an alternate right. agenda. Right. And I just, I'm curious about what would right. you mean. Because basically, I'm approachable. Like you right. said, I'm accessible. You right. can ask me, bitch. You right. never try to trick me. I right. might give you what right. you want. Right. Right. <laughs> right. But she won't teach. That's all I can see. Because I'm like, she's a uh, media person. Mm -hmm. And she trying to, I think she's trying to make herself relevant in media. And again, I have no problem. In fact, I'm I'm on the other end. I like to uplift and try to help motherfuckers get, because you never know. And, and, and not just for that. You shine, bitch. You reflect the sisterhood. So she, I like that. Yeah. Okay, I see, I see a pattern. Some people don't know the barrier and... You know, if she is, you 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 are a specialist. You know a sociopath that is better than a, a most folks I know. It might not even be T, but it, but whatever she want might be as simple as what what all the kids want: popularity. Yeah, that might be true, but and, you ain't you know you can't get popular fucking with me like that. Not on no, uh, not on the positive side. But she might think all she needs like people people who troll for popularity. And kids included, you know, on social media or influencers, vloggers, whatever the fuck they call themselves right now or we call ourselves right now. But the popularity is the commodity. Money is no more. It's just pop. You know how people say likes or whatever. It's just popularity. Like you, it pop, period. Like period at all costs. Yeah, and so, so, maybe, like right. So if she is, if she is that bitch and it looks like she is, and I don't even mean that in a negative way, that she will build what, do what she thinks is building relationships or even just using people's names. And as far as you're concerned, she, she was able to uh, pop your name in something and hope it bring uh, more, more eyes to the uh, online magazine. You know what I mean? So maybe she feel like, again, if that her topics are good enough to where if she just get popularity by way of using your, co-telling your name. You know what I mean? If I was a different bitch, I could be like, I could, t I could tag your name on it just to get more views. I'll be conscious to put mostly, uh, mostly my, my part of the conversation on because I don't want nobody to make no assumptions about nobody I'm talking to. I know. Now I'm really going to show off when I'm talking to you. I know. Bitch, bitch might be taping. I'm just going to. I know. <laughs> but I'm not going to, but I'm not going to, I mean, you, 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 well, like. I know what you saying. I hear what you're saying. Because, I mean, I can do that too. I have some good. But like uh, you, but you. I have some good debates online and some good, like I told you, I love to bring things up to have that devil's advocate conversation with you. You mm -hmm. that person for me. And I love it. But sometimes you, you be thinking I'm going personal. And I be like, no, right. no, no, bitch, I just want you, I just want your. Like you said, if it was somebody else, that would be different. But if I, but if I were to, if I found out that you had done that and posted something that a uh, conversation that we had, I wouldn't feel any kind of way because I would, I would trust your, I would trust your editing. Hey, when I've seen something on news, they talk about beware the scam. If they say, can you hear me? You say, yeah. They take that yes and pretend like you said yes. Girl, okay, don't tell me that. Don't <laughs> tell me that. Oh my God! Don't tell me that. <laughs> they, yes, and, and they and they are, they all say hi, and then they say, "Can you hear me?" And you say, "Yeah, yeah." When you say, "Yeah," that's, they got don't that, tell they got me that, girl. That's all they want. Don't tell me that because because I told me years ago he was like you notice that when they, when they give you the telemarketing calls like they just sit there on the phone until you say yeah like if you just pick up the phone and don't say nothing else they'll sit there and they'll say hello hello until you say until you say something and then they'll whatever so that makes all the sense in the world because they need a yes yeah so that that's shit they they girl yeah ain't that sweet that, that, and then they just hang up that's all they wanted was a yes can you hear me uh can you hear me and you say yes and girl they so they say this is you agreeing to right whatever the fuck right claiming you agree right it's terrible now you they they need to just redo a law. All they have to do is say the law must say clearly state exactly what you're agreeing to. Wow. Uh, you know that's all they gotta do is make that little adjustment. Say yes, you can charge my car. Hmm. Yes, I can hear you. Hmm. You know they, they they should have it where you gotta have some details, not just a yes, cause you could have been saying yeah, my panties in my ass. Right. Yeah, they in my ass. How do you know that? Right. Yeah, I'm wearing blue panties. How do you know that? You know. But uh, that's smart of the criminals. They get smarter and smarter, and the victims get dumber all the time. All like, the time. Well, I don't understand. Yeah, you found out I was that bitch now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, 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 look
Look, Let's get the ass. Look, when I'm ready to ask you something, I'll say, wait a minute. This is me talking. Pause the tape. You can record whatever you want to for me. I don't I don't really I don't have fucks. I I I, I, I had one I had one in storage for a little while, but you know, it kind of decayed up there, so I don't have no more fucks. <laughs> yeah. No. She don't do fuck with it. Right. She's simple and old school. Right. Oh she's like, that's it. She like, that ain't my thing. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Just <laughs> to see in this world a motherfucker like this. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Oh sad but it's not sad for me because i hit the human lottery and it's not even sad for the people because i've i've built up so much much uh uh angst in my spirit for the bullshit that i'm not even feeling nothing for the people but i know that they're gonna have a whole bunch of little lives and these little lives are gonna grow up and become the same because that's what it is and you know as you get older it, it it's ultimately tragic but like i said you realize just how outnumbered we are and it's no reason to give up all together you know you still magnify what you have but at the same time you also don't want to stress yourself especially when it takes a, a physical toll on you about literally that which is out of one's control you know so i mean like a a, a, a nice sized group of people yeah could probably do a little something but and it really was before that before the election but when you know someone like do can be president easily really it, it wasn't really that hard and i get the whole electoral whatever but whatever the the state of the country was still as such that that could happen easily you know even even if it was russia hacking whatever it was in the world that they describe that it is that non-bigoted world that they claim that it is nobody wouldn't even be able to set the stage to um hack the thing where they could because people would be like oh hell no we didn't pick that not not us and not the electoral college didn't pick that but yeah it happened it happened in this world full of the people that that are in it right now and it's and it's um primarily i think van described it well there's a whole lot of levels and elements involved and variations but i think described it well when he described it as white lash because they were so upset that obama even made it much less a second term that they're gonna show us by electing uh this guy even before that even him running seriously was i threw my hands up at that point i was like i'm just be like oh y'all just go oh okay all right all right you know so all right so y'all still gonna look at me like i'm the pessimist though Oh, okay. All right. Because I, I don't have no hope for the world. All right. Okay. Hold on to that. Hold on to that. Hold. Like you said, that's that's the best religion is because that's where, where all these intangible opti optimisms are. It, not only intangible op optimisms, but intangible conflicting optimism. Hypo not hypocritical. I'm going to say conflicting. Conflicting opti op optimisms or that you don't even need tangible logic and common sense to believe or have other have a support group of believers like you don't even have to you don't really even have to see it work i hear people sometimes saying oh yeah you know and all oh, we prayed and prayed and, and thank god our prayers were answered as if people who are not uh textbook christians don't have good things to happen to them like who did it for them because they don't believe in god so how did how did that situation turn out good for them you know what I mean? Oh, see, God look out for y'all anyway. How did that how did that non-Christian go into remission? How did that non-Christian get that job? Oh, God looked out for him. Even though he don't know, God, yeah, yeah. won't he do it? Bitch. <laughs> 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 but God. <laughs> Bless yeah. him highly favored. What other expression he got? Shit. I put a status up yesterday that said, Got it. Uh, uh, give self-proclaimed, uh, to the self-proclaimed prayer warrior. Why are you putting people on your list? Right. If you pray for every, if you praying for everybody, why you need a list or some shit like but that? But if God do that for them and they don't believe in God, then what? Why do they need to believe in? They don't need to believe in God. God will still take care of them, apparently, right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, one of them like God is. I mean, if God is still hooking people up, and you know not that unless, person, not unless they tithing and they ain't gay. Right. <laughs> right. I know. That fucks me up every time I hear. I be like, really? Oh, so if I do ten of these, I'm good for life? What the fuck you mean I'm gonna be blessed for this? Nigga, I'm blessed because I'm able to do this. Girl. <laughs> so let's make a deal, God ass out of here. Girl. And then, and, and even with all the specific verses, like whatever verse you come to, to you use uh, as a weapon, uh, keep on reading. In most cases, eventually they're gonna get to you where you, you're seeing. <laughs> you know? 
Just like the whole the gay for like the gay verse right after the gay verse, you shouldn't get no marks on your body. So you you got tattoos though, but but they right. but they homosexual. Right. That's the very next verse, bitch. The very next verse in Leviticus, right after the the the, the one they use against uh, homosexuality. The abomination. Yeah. So I'm just saying, you right there with the gay people, which are t t you know tattooed in, you know. Mm -hmm. That's all. And don't, mention the, and don't mention the part or the split who animal or whatever. I'm like, keep keep reading, nigga. And like when like when uh, Dick Gregory says everything just because something is legal don't make it right because slavery was legal. Shit, pedophilia was legal. That's Fuck. fucked up because I said that too. Pedophilia was it was perfectly. No, I, don't, I don't trust legal shit. You motherfuckers smoke cigarettes. The doctors recommend it. Palm oil or some shit. Girl, why you, you say that? Coffee, doctor. Oh, fine. Have a camel with your coffee. Thanks. You know, this night work's kind of rough, isn't it? That's right. But a camel's always a pleasure. Yes, folks, the pleasing mildness of a camel is just as enjoyable to a doctor as it is to you or me. In a nationwide survey, doctors in all branches of medicine were asked, what cigarette do you smoke, doctor? The brand named most was camels. Tens of thousands of doctors, general practitioners, surgeons, specialists, doctors in every branch of medicine were included. And according to this nationwide survey, more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Try camels yourself. The cigarette so many doctors enjoy. Bitch, why you? I got a whole series. I don't know what we was watching, but they were showing old commercials. And I recorded every last one of them bitches. And they were showing old commercials. And one of them showed, um, I actually posted one of them. They were showing this uh, guy talking to this chick on this uh, monitor. It was in the 60s. And then he turned around and then she was like, want to be someday if we could actually call each other like that? And I was like laughing. I was like, that's so hilarious. It's nice talking to you again, Carl. Same here. How about dinner sometime real soon? How about right now? I'm starved. Hey, you're on. I'll pick you right up. <laughs> hey, how would you like to have a phone like that? Great, then I can see you all the time. Well, he was calling, he did what to him? He was on, he was on the phone, but he was sitting in front of this, uh, a mon it was 1960, so you can imagine what the monitor looked like. It looked like a vanity mirror, but it was, just, it was, it had her face in it, right? And so he's like, hey, how about a date? And she was like, fine. He's like, I'll pick you up in, in a minute. Something like that. Something he said. And then he spun the chair around and she was sitting over there. And he said, uh, she, he said, want to be, want to be the day when we able to make a call like that for real? And I was just cracking up. And so I said, I'm going to post that. I posted it on Instagram. But that was just one of a whole series of commercials where they showed all the commercials where I got a bunch of them. I'm going to make a video. And um, it was one where they were saying all doc, nine out of 10 doctors choose, uh, I don't know if it was Marlboro or Virginia Slims. Doc yeah, bitch, they had the doctors. The doctors were selling the fuck out of cigarettes, That's girl. Right. They recommended. Yep, and I had it was about twenty or thirty of them. I got every. I was like, once you see a couple of them, you realize you finna see a bunch. I, I got in the mood. I was like, this is hilarious. I was rolling. Girl fell out in the ground. She's like, oh, reefer has ended my long youthful life. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'll be missing you too. I'll be missing you too. We're going to do that shit. We're going to make up for lost time Saturday though. Yeah, we're going we gonna to hang out Saturday shit. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm so tired of funerals and, and shit. Just every damn uh, sick. But you know, it's a part of life. It's so. a part of I was going to say. I was gonna say it's, it's right. I was gonna say it's not gonna lighten up no time soon. So you know, the uh, older we uh, get, yeah, the more. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. It do what it do. Yeah. But I gotta, uh, girl, because I, I, I can't wait to see with you, and I'm gonna try to remember all oh, everything. Yeah. Kid, yeah. Like, oh, let me tell you, I'm gonna be cutting you off, and I'm gonna let you have a cut off thing that day too. <laughs> 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 Let's just get that in order. Ain't gonna be no courtesy sit back. Wait, it's right. Be, oh, wait, bitch, cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna be some answer. You might as well get rid of it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I'm cool with that. Run to the bank. I got a pack. I need to go to nail salon. I get my nails done. Oh, you and me too, bitch. Yeah, I just don't. I don't want you to have to juggle juggle around both both days. Uh, well, I'll tell you what I do. I'll call you Friday if I'm free. Okay, cool. And then if you're free, we'll get together and do something. But cool. if not, then cool, we'll, cool, you know, cool. we got the Saturday date for sure. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, sis. Good talking to you. You too. I love you. I'm excited.